Kahalayim Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah Bahashem Rakakudash, that one in the city of apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well over the flock. Shalom, I'm salutation to you, Akim out here, pushing the words of truth and sincerity. Shalom, Lord Low will this video is edifying. And this is a video I just did yesterday, last night. I had to upload it, um, take this one unlisted and upload it to um, Classic Kings Bah channel. Um, instead, only because I had like a phone number exposed in there that I didn't, uh, ch I didn't take out by mistake. So I uploaded, um, a revised version to the, um, Classic Kings by channel. But on this, on this, um, channel, on this video, um, I had a comment and it's not to beat nobody up, you know what I'm saying? This, this is just for edification's sake and... You know, the uh, Andy Warhol said in the future, everybody's going to have their 15 minutes of fame. And so um, this is that situation here, you know, with this guy. Motor soul, modal soul, modo soul, right? You you wrote or you, um, you commented, bro. And first of all, I'm not your bro. Scripture said he that do with the will of my father. He is my mother, brother. Who is my father, mother, brother, sister? Them that do the will of my father. If you're not doing the will of your father, you're not my brother. All right? You an Israelite. All right? It's, but you wrote, bro, faith by works is not meant. Post YouTube videos talking about the Bible. First thing I want y'all to pay attention to is this man. Modal soul. Here you go, bro. Here's your 15 minutes. You put all of your videos majority of your videos number one you using blue letter bible where did you find that out that's that's the first question you can answer secondly you going out on the street corners and teaching where did you learn to go out on the street corners and teach where did you learn to have a garment down to the foot where did you learn to post your videos that you go out and teach on youtube because you ain't even got to do that you just your, your art is with posting videos where did you learn to step it up? Because I see you did some seven months ago, then five months ago, maybe no more street teaching. It seems like the last one you did was six months ago. But now all of a sudden you're doing shows every every other day. Like you 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 doing more works is what it seems. So I can't you're not even a typical guy that don't have no videos. So at the very least you trying to you trying to do something, right? But you write, Moto So you wrote, Bro, faith by works is not meant post youtube videos talking about the bible but that's what you're doing i ask you again why why do you post videos all right and again it's not no attack it's just to use you and as an example because that's how you came up as if you had the authority to to disannul all the brothers works and videos that brothers been doing endlessly and tirelessly starting with all apostles for years and if you now you now you're saying that's not works right Bro, faith by works is not meant. This is is not is not mean. Post YouTube videos talking about the Bible. Yahweh Shah said himself, "The work of the Lord is believing on Him. The work of the Lord is believing on Him. Faith without belief is dead." So now you just you just butchered the whole scripture, right? Which I provided down here, but I'm gonna finish your comment. Faith without belief is dead. None of the apostles had YouTube channels. Oh, and, and that was that was such a brilliant um, point you made right there, right? That none of the apostles had YouTube channels. But do they? <laughs> so don't get caught up in the doctrines of GMS. And he puts Matthew 15 and 9, which um, you, 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 you have the precepts of men. Talks about the precepts of men. The doctrines of men. So I write, you added, and I'm referring to him saying, faith without belief is dead, because that's not what the scriptures say. Matter of fact, in James 2 and 18, in the NLT, it says, and I can read both right here, I got it. James 2 and 18, the whole section starts at 14, James 2 and 14, but verse 18 says, Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. He writes, 
faith without belief is dead. That's not what it says at all. You add it. It's not what it says at all. You add it, bro. Even in the NLT, it says, now someone may argue, and this is for you. This is you. This is, You're that someone. Modal soul, you're that someone that's arguing. It says some people have faith. That's what you're saying. It's, it's just faith. It's just faith. Others have good deeds. So you going to come out and say, look, some have good deeds, some have faith. But I say, this is James, he says, how can you show me your faith if you don't have good deeds? So no, the works or the deeds is not talking about faith. Faith and deeds are two different separate things, as some argue. It says, how can you show me your faith if you don't have good deeds? I will show you my faith by my good deeds now thankfully the blue letter it gives us inscriptions on we just gotta pay attention to why the blue letter puts these little reference in there as you can see faith without works faith without good deeds is dead and that's the premise faith without good deeds is dead right and it gives you example genesis 2 22 verse 1 and it came to pass after these things that Yahweh did tempt Abraham and said unto him, Abraham. And he said, Behold, here am I. And we know Abraham's faith was accounted for righteousness. But did Abraham have deeds is the question here. It says, And he said, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and clave the wood for the burnt offering. And rose up and went unto the place which Yahweh had told him. Then on the third day Abraham lift, lifted up his eyes and saw a place far off. And Abraham said unto his young men, Abide here, abide ye here with the ass, and I and the lad will go yonder and worship and come again to you. And Abraham took the wood and burnt offering and laid it upon Isaac, his son. Why did he do that? Because that was a work that the Lord required. Abraham had faith, yet now he had to supply that faith with work. That's how it works. It says, and laid it upon his son Isaac, and he took a, a fire in his hand and a knife, and they went both to both of them together. And Isaac spake unto Abraham, his father, and said, my father, and he said, here am I my son and he said behold the fire and the wood but where's the lamb for the burnt offering and abraham said my son yahweh will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering so they uh went both of them together and we know that uh yahweh shai was isaac so ultimately he was that lamb in the reincarnation and now here is the example of abraham's works right and then they give another reference joshua 2 Joshua 2 is a story of um, Rahab, the harlot. Joshua 2, just briefly. <clears throat> I'm going to read the NLT side. Then Joshua secretly sent out two spies from the Israelite camp at Acacia Grove. He instructed them, scout out the land on the other side of the river, Jordan River, especially around Jericho. So the two men set out and came to the house of a prostitute named Rahab and stayed there that night. But some of the, someone told the king of Jericho, some Israelites have come here tonight to spy the land. So the king sent the king of Jericho sent orders to Rahab, bring out the men who have come into your house, for they have come here to spy out the whole land. Rahab hid had hidden the two men, but she replied, Yes, the men were here earlier, but I didn't know where they were from. They left the town at dusk as the gates were about to close. I don't know where they went. If you hurry, you can probably catch up with them. Actually, she had taken them up to the roof and hidden them beneath bundles of flax she had laid out. So Rahab, essentially, her works was to lie to her king and hide and, and safely hide the two Israelite spies where the Lord bless her later on. That's her works, man. Even though she believed on the God of uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob because of the fair uh, of, you know, his, his renown and the fair brought, she also did works. That's why she's referenced here in the faith and works section of James, the second chapter. But when you go down now, going back to your comment, 
uh modal so you saying that faith by works is not me is not me post youtube videos talking about the bible bro what is teaching is teaching not works is teaching not works right the scripture says some be some some ap apostles some teachers different members of the body all united different members all right different gifts prophecy teaching the scripture is known for is good profitable for teaching doctrine instruction correction how are you to now say that teaching or make a videos and who gave you the authority to say these videos aren't works when we get when we gave you two examples of works abraham ready to sacrifice his son isaac at the lord's request and rahab the harlot hiding the spies these they both had faith but their works which reference here in the very same chapter i'm referring to their works is different than their faith your comment leaves one to believe that faith without belief is dead. That faith and belief are two different things. No, faith and belief are the same thing. That was a simple mistake, man. But I think your, your animosity, whatever you're striving against for, for, the, for GMS, and then you actually really look like a fan because not only are you doing videos often like GMS is known to do, but you're using blue letter. And apparently, like, you know, you, you make videos on the apostles. So you just a scoffer, man. You just an old, you know, just another scoffer, bro. Now, I added, I said you added, this is my, you know, response to him. You added James 2 and 18 uh, in the NLT again. Now, someone may argue some have faith. Others have good deeds. But I say, how can you show me your faith if you don't have good deeds? And that's what these videos are, man, regardless of what. Your imagination is telling you right now, you're wrong, you're going off. These are actual deeds. When you go into the word, the etym, etym I mean the uh, the Greek and the linear, the word works is a word ergo. It means to work, toil, as an effort or occupation. No, it doesn't mean believe. It means to work, as different than belief. Belief doesn't constitute work, but what James is saying is. You can say that you believe and have no works, but I don't understand how you do that. Here it is, the Lord tests men to do things, tests women to do things, and they have done them. And it's been accounted, you know, as works. It goes towards in their credit that they do have faith in the Lord. When they're tested, they do what they're supposed to do. Well, that's what work is. It's an opposition or it's an addition to your faith. But it means to toil as an effort or occupation. So now when you get on a job, it's not just good enough to say, I work here. You got to actually work. Right? Or they're going to fire you. It says an act, deed, thing done. So this is not talking about faith. It's talking about an action. It's a verb. The idea of working is emphasized in opposition to that which is less than work. So you can do less than what you're called to do or you can do that which you are called to do by working your job and obligation is to put up as put up shows that are edifying and that help um, build um, the elect you know and you have the standard of the apostles our apostles of great millstone who constantly consistently have been putting out work since the early since youtube came out then I also wrote, who taught you to post videos often? How did you learn about BLB? So, you know, looking forward to, you, you, you could respond however you like, you know. Again, I don't, you know, I don't know you personally, you know. It just so happened you commented on my thing, you commented on the video. And, you know, if the Lord see, if the Lord shows you, you wrong and you going off. Then that's just it. But if you can't see it, you know, you got your day of waiting. You just like everybody else, man. These works that the brother's doing, you can't, you can't try to limit that. You can't try to um make that to none effect. You can't try to say 
you know, make it as if we posting videos for no reason. Through the spirit, we already know why we're doing what we're doing. These are works to show our faith. Over in this video, is that a fine? Till next time, shallow one.